Hey, big Aries energy in the building. Stay tuned. So teamwork make the dream work, but you got to make sure you actually have the right team. And I don't know if this is going to make sense, but this just made me think about fear, right? Because that's the reason why I continue to show up on my channel by myself because of fear. And um, let's say the Joe Button podcast and then 5150 very recently it's been some wild shit on both of those shows. Actually, I could say with the Joe Button podcast, right around his Patreon announcement, I started noticing everybody but Joe is, is getting kind of quiet. You could just see, like, ah, oh, this shit is about to blow up. I didn't expect it to happen that fast, but yeah. Definitely saw that coming. I really haven't been tuning in to him much at all since that Patreon announcement, because that's his, that's where the shit started. And then Corey Holcomb, that's, I don't know, man. It's something about, like, I, I really like the core of those shows. It was like, it was good chemistry for what everybody did. It worked well, like everybody had a position. But I don't know, man, when you're working with people, like Joe's situation might be a little bit different. But when you're working with people close to you, it seemed like you only get a shelf life with that. It's a certain amount of time. We see it with all of the groups where you got one artist to just take off solo and everybody get left behind. Like, I don't know, man. It's like, it's hard for people to work together. And like, the higher you go, the harder it is for you to work together. And like, my little channel, like, man, it, it ain't even about that. It's just like, I got a fear of working with people and hating them by the time it's over. Because... Man, like, a lot of things can change the dynamic of a relationship once you step outside of it just being about, like, how how we interact with each other, how cool we are with each other, whatever our relationship dynamic is that changes when you bring business into it. So, my biggest fear I've actually seen play out on, like, two of my favorite shows. I don't watch a whole lot of TV now, but... um like between Spotify and YouTube, I've really been into Joe Button and 5150 for years, years. And it was just fucked up to see it all go up in flames like that. And I like the shows continue, but the cast is different. The mood is different. The feel is different. And I just can't get with it. So uh, that's been my biggest fear with my channel. And I mean, I've even tried to like collaborate with people and work on like podcast ideas and all that other stuff, but I always come back to it just being me. So that's got to mean something. Maybe my fear is what's holding me back from anything else happening. But at the same time, like I'm not pressed. Like I said before, I started this channel. Really? I got like I was having so much fun with the editing process. It was like, man, I never been able to like just freely do something like this on my own time. There's no like pressure. I'm doing it because I really want to and I'm having fun. And that's what I had to remember about this channel. I started it because it was fun to me. Like I was having fun. And then you start listening to people on the outside and all the opinions that don't really matter. That's how I got off track. That's how I lost my focus. So now I'm trying to go back to square one, bring it back to the beginning which was, it was just me and the camera. So, this is wild. That's weird. I don't know how this even took that turn, but this is where we at. Shout out to you. If you're still around, if you've been stuck around this long, just uh, drop a goofy ass emoji in the comment section. And uh, I appreciate you for that. I'm out. What?